everyone, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. Thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, hello to everyone. Today is the 31st of October uh, 2016. This is your love reading for November. Today is Halloween. Happy Halloween to everyone. And there is a new moon in Scorpio. So the uh, feeling of Pluto is very, very strong, everybody. Endings, new beginnings. Births, re, um, regeneration, rebirth, re, uh, re everything. So there are endings, new beginnings, doors closing, doors opening. So the energies are very, very strong uh, around this period. And uh, speaking from experience, a lot has been happening. It's just been crazy. So having Jupiter in Libra is supposed to be um, the final outcome is supposed to be something wonderful there is supposed to be balance uh, coming into our life Jupiter is bringing the balance now whether we need to go through hardship to get through to the other end um, that is for everyone you know it's going to be different for some of us it's going to be easier for others it's going to be more difficult because the universe is telling us uh, the universe is trying to shake us up and tell us which path to take, which is the right path for us, and that is going to be the final outcome. Okay, I won't be speaking more about astrology again. Um, I still am trying to work through all my difficulties and my troubles, trying to uh, get through my path. So, um, as I did promise in the last readings, I will try and get more readings up for you guys, but it's not happening yet. So um, do know that I have got that on my mind and I am trying to accomplish it, but it is, you know, the energies have just been really, really hard. So um, I do appreciate all of you. Thank you all for everything that you do, for the support, for the likes, everything. Uh, that you do for my channel and a special thank you to all the people who are buying readings. Um, again, you are very much appreciated. Now, I can't think of something else at the moment. Uh, the readings will start from the 31st of October. It will take me a couple of days and I am using for this month the Connolly Tarot, okay, for your love reading and I'm also using the La Vera Sibila by Masangini, as I've said before. Masangini, Masangini, do forgive me for my Italian, everyone. Thank you so much again, and I do wish you all the very best for November. Right, let's get on to the readings. Aquarius, hi. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you all for visiting my channel. This is your November 2016 love reading. I'd like to thank you all for, for visiting and uh, for subscribing, for sharing everything that you do every month for my channel. Today is the 31st of October. Happy Halloween to everybody. Aquarius Love November November Love 2016. The Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. First card down is the Page of Pentacles. Very common card this month. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse. It's the Crossing card. The World card is in the reverse at the base of your reading. The Tower is in the past, near past, reversed. 
At the top we've got the chariot, which is in the upright. That's your crowning card. Okay, Three of Swords is in the near future, but it's in the reverse. The Six of Cups is in the reverse, in the advice position and how people see you. Justice is in the environment position, in the upright. King of Wands is in the reverse, in the um, hopes and fears. And the Page of Cups is the outcome card, in the reverse. We've got the Eight of Cups as a clarification card and the Nine of Wands as another clarification card. And as I said, the Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the reading. Okay, Aquarius, I'll have a look at the cards and I'll be right back. Thank you. Aquarius, I'm back. Okay, now we've got the Queen of Swords, which is at the bottom of the deck, and this is uh, your energy. Uh, the Queen of Swords is... Um, very outspoken. She does not hold on to her emotions. She does not care. She lets the people know where she stands. She speaks her mind. She does come from a good place. You are showing in the upright, but uh, this sword can cut through a lot of crap. So um, she's quite, you know, aloof. She's not an emotional queen and um, I think you're going to be speaking your mind this month. Now this little butterfly which is in the on the uh, sword, this means transformation to me because butterflies, you know, transform. So um, it's like there is new life, there is a hint of new life here. Um, anyway, she's showing her sword so it looks as though you are ready for a battle. That's what it looks like to me. This is the Connolly Tarot, and I love the depictions on, on this tarot deck. Okay, so they do um, show a few different things than what the normal Rider right Waite Tarot do. And that's why I like to use them sometimes. Now, uh, I've got a page of pentacles. Okay, this is Earth, Taurus, uh, Capricorn or Virgo. He seems to be handing a pentacle over to somebody. Um, this could be a message, something that is in on the earthly plane, you know, just whatever we need for our day to day. Um, so this is the first card that I've put down for you, Aquarius. Um, it is being, um, it does have the uh, Ace of Cups in the reverse. That's your crossing card. That's crossing this uh, Page of Pentacles and. Um, it is your challenge, okay? So, unfortunately, it's not in the upright, this Ace of Cups. So, it looks as though um, there is a bit of trouble within your love life. Now, in this uh, picture, we've got a little angel which is sitting in the cup and there is a bird above. So, it's as though um, um, the angels and the, and, um, and the universe are uh, communicating, right? But... Um, Unfortunately, as I said, it is in the reverse, so it is your challenge for the month of November. Okay, this is uh, a little bit difficult because, you know, whatever emotions uh, are held in the cup there, you know, you're losing. Uh, something, something has happened where this cup has turned upside down. And I can see that something's happening because, first of all, we've got the... Um, the Three of Swords, and that's the near future position. It is in the reverse, which is a positive thing. So these swords are coming out of the um, the heart. Usually we've got the heart in the uh, right away tarot. Um, this picture is a little bit different. Um, yeah, it's good to see it in the reverse. And I do hope that uh, you quickly come out of this situation. So it is a card about... A healing process which is beginning now in the near in the near past we've got the tower and that's in the reverse which says that something was coming but it wasn't abrupt as the tower usually is it was slow coming but it did it did come or maybe you're still going through this um, situation whatever has been you know um, hasn't been stable, is being torn down, and I think it's a long process. I think you're going through it for a little while now, and I can see the um, the problem 
uh, this is a problem. This is the world card and it's your foundation card. It's in the reverse, which says that the cycle has not come to a close, this cycle. I think that you you might be getting through it now, still going through it, okay? Um, yes, the world card is a card that is um, quite negative when it's in the reverse because it says that we are nearly at the end. The world card is the card of completion, finishing a cycle and beginning a new one. Okay, so this is what's happening with you guys this month. The good thing, and we do have a good card here, thank goodness, is the chariot. And that this is crowning your reading. It's a number seven. It's the card of conflict, but you're able to manage this chariot and go forward. You are pushing forward. You are giving it your best shot, trying to move out of this heartache, this um, incomplete love story, whatever's happening with you. And um, that's probably why we've got the uh, Page of Pentacles. Uh, this could be your energy, right? And uh, pages are like beginnings, you know. It's uh, There's one pentacle there. So um, this could be you giving the message that you are starting anew that you are moving forward, okay? And uh, that's what the chariot is all about. And the crowning card is very important for me. So it's good to see that because it's, it is a major arcana card. So we've got the chariot, the tower, the world, three very strong major arcana cards. And then four, we've got the justice card, which is in the environment position. Okay, so the environment position to me is a very important position, as is the crowning card. Um, justice speaks of a new path. It speaks of trying to find the balance. And uh, it is an ongoing theme, the justice card this month. So, And as I have mentioned, there are a lot of um, endings and new beginnings still uh, at this point in time. And... Uh, it is today being the, you know, Halloween, it's the 31st of October and there is a new moon in Scorpio. So um, Scorpio is a very dark energy, the dark side of Scorpio anyway, because Scorpio's uh, ruler is Pluto, right? So um, Scorpio is all about the eighth house, which is uh, births, deaths and births, okay, beginnings, endings. So that's probably why it's it's a very there's a very strong indication of people trying to find their their justice their balance. Um, they're trying to find the balance within their life within their relationships, whether it be family relationships, love relationships, any relationships whatsoever. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull some sabilas on that um, in a minute. But in the advice position and how people see you, we've got the Six of Cups in the reverse. Okay, the Six of Cups is a lot of childlike energy, a lot of reminiscing, feeling like a child. As you can see here, it's the happy home. This couple has got a child and they're soulmates, obviously. I think the Six of Cups very strongly to me speaks of... Uh, um, you know, soulmate relationship because many times the Six of Cups could be speaking about someone from the past or someone that has been in your life for years, you know, for a long time. So um, this being in the reverse to me says that um, we are going back towards the Five of Cups where there is mourning, there is a feeling of lack, there is... Um, the three cups are usually spilt in the Rider Waite Tarot. The two are still standing. So um, there is a feeling of, uh, of no reciprocity because this is a six, right? It's, it's an imbalance. But it looks as though you may be finding your balance because we've got the justice in the um, environment position, okay? Now, in the hopes and fears position, we've got the king of wands, okay, but he's in the reverse, so this is a uh, fire sign, this is a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, 
and again this could be your energy but I'm thinking that uh, this could probably be moon rising or sun sign of your partner okay and you're probably fearing them being in the reverse they're not themselves uh, this card is mirroring the justice card maybe there is a breakup there could be a divorce there could be anything and this page of cups here is an offer of love not being you know um, not being answered not being accepted um, this offer is not reaching its <laughs> it, it's um how can I say it's not reaching the the heart uh, it's not reaching to the heart of the other person this is a very innocent sort of a an energy it's a water sign yes but it's a very emotional sort of a sign because yes page of cups um, is is a message and usually because it's cups it is a message of love um, and it is on the emotional side of things because as again it's cups all right but let's not forget that it could be just it's a sudden sort of an offer of love something that is sort of unexpected but it is in the reverse so this offer of love doesn't seem to be coming coming through so um it's sad to see um that there is uh, a sense of a feeling of lack a feeling of being let down so that's why and i would say that this this card is showing up here this is the eight of cups another cups card um the eight of cups is uh leaving an emotional situation a an unfulfilling emotional situation where you have invested a lot of time but um there has been no um you know nothing coming back to you so what you've offered has not come back to you and uh, so i think um you may be moving away you are moving away but yes usually this cup also um means that you are moving to a more pleasant um environment something that is much more fulfilling for you so you don't care that you've invested all these cups you are moving on somewhere um trying to find the 10 cups right now um okay this is the 10 goodness okay i thought i i got mixed up in a another reading i thought it was the nine of uh ones and maybe that is the case for that but anyway this is 10 this is completion the ten of wands it's been a burden it has been a very big burden but this person is starting to plant new seeds okay and this person is going through what they have to go through difficulties um, look at the weather here look at the turmoil look at this uh, the cloud in the background it could be you know a, a tornado it could be a hurricane it could be anything this person is still working hard at getting through this situation they are very very invested in finishing up what they had to finish up and usually we say that the ten of wands is getting to your goal um, but i th still think there is a little bit of work to be done because he is still doing planting here so okay it's um it's overall this picture is showing me what you guys are going through and I feel for you I really do um, the positive card is this one and this is the card of cancer okay just thought I'd mention that um, there are a few cups cards here the ace of cups here six of cups here um, the page of cups and the eight of cups so there may be a strong um, water energy either in yourself or um, or in your partner it could be their moon or their rising sign all right 
because I did mention that there may be an earth sign or we may be talking about, um, as I said before, this uh, reversed king of, uh, king of wands, okay, because it is your hopes and fears position. So I really do think I have a feeling that this is your partner. And many times there could be just an indication of how the, the person in your life is showing up at that time. Okay, for everyone it's going to be different. This here though is your energy. I know it very strongly, I feel it. And uh, also the Queen of Swords could also be a judge. And we do have the Justice card here. Okay, I thought I'd mention that. Let me pull some Sabilas. For you single people, because of the Page of Pentacles offering his pentacle, um, and next to that is the Ace of Cups. Now, there is an offer, but something is falling through. I just dropped a card, and that's the Vecchia Signora. Um, this card means change, and it also means... Um, um, seeking out advice so again this could be indi an indication of a solicitor or someone who is able to advise you so um, let's see this uh, three of swords which is in the reverse and that means that there is a healing process Maybe that's why, for those of you that have been through turmoil and have are reaching a point of justice, whether it be literally a divorce, a separation, or just trying to find your balance, um, maybe that's why the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Maybe you guys have been through a difficult relationship in the past and not been healed yet. Um, for those of you that are coming out of a relationship, long-standing relationship, you are moving on to more positive ground and maybe you are being made an offer with a page of cups which is not fulfilling enough, whether it be, you know, whatever offer that is. It doesn't look like you're going to accept it. Let me look at the Three of Swords. Grand Consolación, which is a very positive card indeed. This person is uh, sleeping, fantasizing, everything's up in the air, but there are a lot of choices here. He's got a lot of choices. So this is supposed to be a very positive card, which is good to see. Okay, Melancholia. Okay, Melancholy that is. And for Delta, this is the uh, card of companionship and um, loyalty. Now, it looks as though you may have felt that you had everything in the past, but then you went through, um, through melancholy, through worries, because you did not expect uh, that, you know, this person who was your companion and you thought that you had everything, that you thought the world of them. Maybe you did not expect what happened. Um, now the Grand Consolación and the Fidelta are mirroring each other, so Melancholy is in the middle. Maybe those two cards, because they are very positive, um, they could be overriding the uh, Melancholy. There could be help there. You may have loyal people around you, a loyal friend. This could be a friend who is helping you move through your uh, trauma, your um, your battle. I can call it a battle, your hardship. Let's look at the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles together.
Fortuna, which is the will of fortune, great to see. Messaggero, which is a message coming in. And Constanza, which is a very positive card, especially with the other two cards together. Uh, something constant, something is going to stabilize in your life. So maybe we might be able to get this cup turned over. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This Page of Pentacles is an offer of something tangible in your life. He is looking towards the cup, so maybe this cup will be turned over. And uh, as I said, your crowning card is the, um, the chariot. So good on you. Good on you, Aquarius. Let's look at the Justice card. Maybe that's why the Justice card is showing there. It looks as though the Wheel of Fortune is there for you. Things are going to change. The environment position of Justice, which is number 11. It's like a new path, you guys. Il Nemico, which is the enemy. Morte. So something bad is transforming because Morte is the death card. And Casa. So something negative, which is in your house, is coming to a close. There is going to be transformation. And I did talk about the butterfly, which is on the sword here, which is you. You are going to be able to transform uh, Aquarius. I think balance will be coming in. Um, wonderful to see the Morte card, which is next to the Il Nemico. So something regarding your stability in your home is going to transform. Something that was negative. So this justice is going to be bringing you balance after all. Let's look at the Page of Cups, which is in the reverse. Legereza, lightness of the heart, a uh, very frivolous um, sort of a character. Disgrazia, which is the tower. And Pensiero, someone's putting a lot of thought into the matter. So we've got the tower twice. We have it here in the reverse and we have it here. I'm going to pull one more card. Okay, Grand Signore. Grand Signore is the VIP. It's usually someone who is quite uh, important, someone who is very abundant in all aspects. Um, now the Pensiero here, could be a solicitor as well. This could be a solicitor as well. Um, so it looks as though after the Discratia, the um, the tower card, and as I did say, there was a, an offer which wasn't that good. So maybe there is an offer, a silly sort of an offer, and... Um, it just comes out of the blue, right? You're not expecting it. But then uh, you put some thought into it or you're advised uh, to take this offer and maybe you do end up taking the offer. And this is you. This is you standing tall at the end of the day and um, being able to walk away. Being able to walk away. Maybe there is... Uh, Maybe someone very important comes in, and this is going to be different for everyone. An important person is going to come in. Sorry, you guys, hold on a second. Sorry about the noise. I think someone important is going to play a major part in uh, what is happening here at the end with this regarding this offer. Something, uh, this is a very, uh, it's a pleasant card to have, the Grand Signore. It shows financial security, etc. You know, as I said, this person is very abundant. So um, I think this is a very um, good sign. 
after the um, after the pensiero because again this could be putting a lot of thought into the matter and working your way forward in 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 a right way in um, the best way because as I said it's a positive card the best way for you for others of you um, as I said someone is going to stand tall stand up for you stand up they're going to be on your side um, so this is going to end up really well for you okay and that's why the um that's probably why we've got the 10 here and this guy is um planting seeds that may be an indication all right and maybe that's also why we've got the uh the will of fortune right so the last cards are all quite positive so it looks as though things may turn out well um, for you as I said for the people who are going through divorce things will fix up transformation will happen and you will come through to a better 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 place because this speaks about security um, for the single people uh, as I said there may be an earth sign which is offering you, you know, um, a relationship. Um, and um, and I think for you, um, for you single people, um, this could be your energy or it could be, um, it could be your partner's energy. Um, they could have two sides to them so just you know take care of that be careful with that um, I'm thinking that because the ace of cups is in the reverse there so do take care with that take care with the offer of love that is coming through um, just be weary of that keep that in mind I just like to pull just three Sabilas on this um, King of Wands, it's quite important for me because I want to see what he's showing up, what's happening with him there. Falsita, and that's why this is the card of deception. This is why he's showing up in the reverse. Amica, which is the card of harmony, and superbia. Okay, so if there has been any lies or any deception, I think uh, they are going to balance out and, and fix up. I think we are coming out of that because we've got the harmony card. Either that or you are going to be your, a best friend of yours, a friend of yours, someone who is very harmonious, someone who is on your side is looking out for you so the ending is going to be all good superbia is the card of vanity but it's a wonderful card too okay so okay i'll leave it at that what i'm going to do now is um pull a card from the fairy tarot cards for you geez there is a lot happening this month everybody a lot is happening Okay, Aquarius, November 2016, Love and Relationships. Please show me. Cards want to give me a hard time. This deck is so large, it's really hard to, to shuffle it. Please show me. What do you have in store for Aquarius? What's the message for the month of November? What's happening in their love life? Please tell me. Aquarius, Aquarius. What's the message for Aquarius, please? Okay, King of Summer. This is the King of Cups. Right. 
The King of Cups could be a Cancer. I think it is the card of Cancer and the Chariot was the card of Cancer. So for some of you there is a, a water sign, a Cancer sign more than likely is very significant, very significant for you in the month of November 2016. Let's see what this says. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Maybe this is the friend that is giving you advice. Maybe this is the person. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. And it says that this person is honorable, devoted, mature, and warm hearted. What a beautiful person to have on your side. Okay, now whether this is your partner or it's a friend, this uh, water sign is going to be very significant for you. Okay. And it is a cups card. We did have a few cups. So I do wish you all well um, for the month of November 2016, Aquarius. Thank you so much for everything that you do for my channel. I do wish you well. And um, I will be back as soon as I can with more readings for you. Thanks for your patience. Okay. Happy Halloween. Talk to you soon. Bye all.